a landmark study that just came out that shows the use of CBD while you're driving does not have a negative impact. On your ability to drive. On your ability to drive. Huh. So obviously that in some way, so to clarify, so CBD or cannabidiol is an active component of marijuana, but it's not the same as THC. So THC is what gets you high, but people often take CBD for anxiety. There's a variety of medical uses now. And it might seem obvious to some people because when you take CBD, you don't usually get high. Like psychotropic. Yeah. yeah. uh, But there's never been proper studies to show like when you're under the influence, quote unquote. That's interesting. I never thought of it. Yeah. And as marijuana becomes legal in a lot of places around the whole world, there's a lot of policy of like road rules and things that they need to know. Okay. If somebody's, can you take Mm. CBD and drive? So in this study, they basically tested people with uh, smoking, they vaporized it in every case. So they vaporized either THC, CBD, a combo of them or a placebo. What I find the most crazy about this study is that they actually made them go drive 100 kilometers what? on a real highway. Um, <laughs> okay, like, is danger that zone. Unless is that I ethical? Mis- unless I misread Are you it. sure it wasn't a VR highway? <laughs> no, that's what I would have thought. They said they made them drive 100 kilometers in real life. Okay, everyone's canceling everyone. Can we cancel this? whoever made the study in the science first? I don't know. Maybe there was already enough research to show like that there would be minimal enough effect. It would really that. suck if they got it back and they're like, wow, CBD everyone's- really messes up your ability to drive. <laughs> Whoops. So basically they found out without... <laughs> The THC CBD did not impair driving, which I said. THC <laughs> does impair driving, though. The study confirmed. Yes. yes. Uh, but they did find that under moderate ab- amounts of THC, the effects would wear off after a few hours. So not they're going to endorsement cut. to like. Yeah, no, but it's same. Like with alcohol, you're allowed to have a certain amount in your yeah, system. Maybe exactly. they're going to try and get to that point. And they might be able to say like, when when did you smoke or when did you to kind of judge like <laughs> how, how high somebody is? Yeah. Um, having a mixture still caused impairment. So in the version where they had THC and CBD at the same time, it because they're a bit of a yin and yang to each other physiologically. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people say, oh. I have heard, like, anecdotally or from a rumor standpoint, that CBD kind of blocks the THC receptor. Like, they do bind to the same receptor. So some people are like, does CBD make you less stoned? Ultimately, this is just... But drive all you want. Good and interesting news, especially for people who want to consider taking it for anxiety or, say, depression, but would be concerned, like, can I drive? Yeah. Would it it intoxicate me in a way that would impact? (laughs) Well, I'm glad they had a bunch of people driving around on it to figure (laughs) it out. It's like, as I was reading, I was like, am I reading this wrong? Like, that seems insane. (laughs) And, like, imagine they did it with alcohol. Okay, now just go drive 100 kilometers. They probably did in, like, the 60s. You know (laughs) what I mean? That's true. 